hi everyone welcome back to winning chagua youtube channel so today i'm officially introducing my new look um this is hair changes you know chronicles as you can see it's a new look and <laughs> guys it took me like i don't know so long to get to this look like it wasn't so easy and uh and i think i like it so <laughs> i'm officially making this video to unleash my new look as you can see i like it <laughs> in my blonde uh my blonde color yes so guys actually if you're new here make sure that you hit your notification button if you're new here thank you so much for your support and make sure that if you're new here welcome to my channel if you're a member thank you so much for being so patient and so pain uh if you're a member thank you so much for being so uh supportive and guys make sure that you hit your notification button so that uh every time i make a video you get notified that there's a, a new video so let me know guys what you think about my new video i mean not my new video but my new look my short hair yeah my short hair look and my blonde of course <laughs> Yeah, let me know what you think about it. Of course, I like it. I had views about people uh, saying about, oh, you're not supposed to go short hair. Uh, you should keep your hair because you're a woman and all that. But I really don't care about what people think about my hair. But I think I like it. So, guys, I here comes the video about what happened. You know, the whole process about shaving my hair. Uh the barber thing and all that <laughs> so guys let's head to the barber shop let's go and see what happened you know yeah here comes the video it's, it was a whole lot let me tell you something i cried i really cried losing my hair it wasn't like an easy thing uh it wasn't an easy decision to make for me to decide to go shave my hair that i had for like 15 years was not an easy decision uh to make but i was like it reached a point i was like you know what why do i have to struggle with stuff that i can get rid of and still i mean hair grows the things that we lose and we don't get them uh we lose special people we don't get them but we can lose hair and grow it back so that's why i was like you know what i can get rid of it so but yeah i've had people talk about shit about it but it's fine sorry guys so but here comes the video guys here's the whole process what happened the cost what made me shave my hair uh you're gonna get all your questions answered i hope you won't cry like i cried <laughs> yeah so my nephew was like did auntie cry yeah my nephew was like did auntie cry and i was like oh my god yeah i did it's not easy losing your hair it was the hardest decision that I ever made and I was like you know what yeah we can make sometimes hard decisions you know yeah change is good so guys enjoy the video <laughs> and thank you so much so let me know what you think after watching this video make sure that you leave your comments below and also don't forget to subscribe and enjoy <laughs> So guys this is where everything began so I got to the barber shop and I was ready to take down my hair oh my god <laughs> yeah you see yeah actually you see me sitting there I was holding my tears like I was holding my tears uh, knowing that my hair was coming down like my hair for 15 years was coming down and while I was doing this video I knew that I have had this hair for a long time and I deep down I was crying like I was crying I was holding my tears because everybody was looking at me 
and the guys who were at the barber shop they were looking at me and I was looking down because I didn't want anybody to see me crying and so I was like oh my god <laughs> I don't want to cry I don't want yeah so I was looking down my tears as I was sitting on that chair because I didn't know like everything that was on my head everything that I had I feel like my head was so heavy and I feel like uh, taking down my hair was gonna feel easy but even though after taking down my hair it still didn't feel like like cake you know yeah and guys do you notice anything like do you see that this brother who is shaving my hair like you look alike <laughs> Not yeah, we kind of look alike. Uh, you think that he's my brother. So, yeah, guys. So, I was literally crying. Um, but I was at the end of it and I was like, you know what? Let me take down my hair. Actually, I was gonna do it by myself. But, um,. I did not want to do it because I was like, I do not know how I want to look. So that is why I decided to go to the barber shop because I wanted to look like, um, even though I was gonna cut my hair, I still wanted to look uh, stylish and I still wanted to look pretty and nice. Um, and as you can see, I told him what, what to do, um, but still he didn't do it the way I wanted him to do it. So, and somewhere in the day, so, you know, yeah, so. Anyways guys, so this is one of the best barber shops here um, in our local area and it's actually it gets full so that's why i decided to go there and for you to get in there you have to make like an appointment because for me i have to book like an appointment online like a week earlier because it's one of the best actually so i did book an appointment like a week earlier you do it online and um for shaving, it was around twenty-eight dollars. Depending on what you're doing, the cost varies. Um, so for my hair, which was kind of shaving, nothing much, was just only like twenty-eight dollars. But if you're doing anything extra, uh, the price uh, varies. Um, so you go behind and. Sometimes you have options to choose who you want to do your hair. If you want the guy, if you want the female, if you want, if you go there every day, you know who does your hair better. So you have options to choose. But for me, ah, uh, that was my first time, so I didn't have any options. I was like, any person can do my hair. And yeah, as you can see, the guy who was. Uh, shaving and uh, like besides me like are you for real like are you touching your hair and I'm like yeah yeah <laughs> like he didn't believe because my hair was, it was long it was you know, natural hair I've had my natural hair for like 15 years and I have not put any chemical on my hair like I've been so faithful yes guys so I've been so faithful to my hair uh, so this is how far I like I'm changing like I've changed I look so different like a man and I look like him oh my god I don't know why he's making me look like him I still don't understand you know <laughs> yeah I don't know who's this kind of sharing me look like him I still don't understand anyways yeah so guys um, so this place is kind of funny so one of the reasons why I actually decided to shave is because um, I 
around like a few months ago i was going through something i didn't i wasn't like understanding so i was actually like in a very difficult situation i still don't want to talk about it but i still like i didn't even know i don't know what it was but i was like i didn't i wasn't feeling myself so i was like i want to get rid of something but i didn't know what it was like i just wanted to feel free so I was like, one of the things that I feel like getting into to survive was my hair because uh, there was a time I was making appointments to make my hair and this lady, I called her like three times, not actually five times, she was supposed to make my hair the first time and she didn't hit my phone call and then she tested me three hours that she forgot that she was supposed to make my hair so that was my disappointment anyway guys um, I don't know what's going on here because I was just, you know, I'm here and I'm just here to do my hair I don't know what's going on between you two, but you guys need to say it's You said no. I said the left side, and you came to the right, dummy. This is my point. That's what I said, the left side. And I said, you know. He said no. I did not say no. Well, how did you say no? Because I didn't want to do that. I said, no, I did not say no. Well, I'll tell you what. Hold on, what's going on? This is my hair. And I'm not complaining. Why are you just from here? I'm not to complain or say. What's up, Zach? I'll be right with you, man. In a New York minute. I mean, do you ain't know what I told you? Mind with me, you know? So, so you'll I mean, she like has it. It's still like that. that. You know, every job has it. Like, honestly, just learn. You know, learn. Say, learn. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you think about people minding your own business when you're doing your own job. I'm a true for two zillions. I mean, you have your own business. 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 Client work or up and the cat will have to be leaky, you know? Because I mean, this guy was doing his job and I'm satisfied. And then this dude, he's just there and he's minding our business. And I'm like, why are you complaining? I'm not complaining, but Mona, Mika, like, why are you complaining at my behalf? <laughs> like, have you ever experienced such kind of scenarios? Anyways, I don't know, maybe because I don't know, maybe because I don't know, maybe because I don't know what was going on really, but I wasn't in my right mind. But I'm going to do my hair, Kaisha. Hi, Kaisha, but I do shave my hair like part of it. I shave my hair like, you look at it like Musu, because I didn't want to shave like all of it initially. So I shaved the makeup back to like the dog or like his size, you know, because I don't know why he is. I look at him now, but I look at him now from the way. So yeah, because uh, TikTok me my auto and then Mika is so funny, and I was so scared. I didn't know how I was gonna look because the last time I had a short hair was when I was in middle school, and I was like, okay, so <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, uh, to cut the story short, uh, okay, guys, yeah, so as you can see, um, if you're wondering, um, uh, if you're wondering if, uh, if you do have like barber jobs here. Actually, people make a lot of money by just shaving. And as you can see, this is a barbershop and it's huge. Um, it's owned by uh, Black Americans and it's actually big. They do like a pedicure, um, they do what? Hair color, hair like me. And as you can see all the way they're doing like pretty much everything, they shave kids, women, all kind of stuff. So I know everybody 
who comes here, they kind of wanna go like them. They, want, they just wanna go to healthcare and do everything healthcare. You know, you actually don't have to go and do healthcare. Um, you can actually come and do any other job. Okay. So I'm kind of shifting from my shaving and talk about jobs and all that because this, you know, as you can see, someone is at work and I'm shaving my hair. As much as I'm shaving my hair, I'm actually promoting somebody's job, somebody's career, uh, <coughs> career-wise, you know. Um, and this person is making money and you cannot just walk in there and like we walk into to our barber shops in Africa. Here you have to make an appointment. You walk, you go in by appointment. You, you, you don't just, you don't just go in, walk in and say, you know, like, let me just walk in and get my hair shaved, or get my beard shaved. You have to make an appointment and you may have to make sure that it's like, uh, a week in a week's time you know early in advance otherwise you won't be able to uh, to get a chance if you're going somewhere you have to make sure that you do it early in advance so uh, just shaving my hair from long to short I paid $28 and if I was gonna color my hair I was gonna pay like $80 that is Eight thousand, eight thousand, you know, uh, close to. And you know, right now the dollar is about one, you know, one seventeen. So, <laughs> but you must have like good customer service to do a uh, barber, you know, barber jobs here. As you can see, this guy is very patient. For me, I went there. I didn't know even what to do, but I was kind of talking to him, and I was uh, asking him like, "What do you think I should do?" And I didn't have any anything to do, and he was so patient, and he was telling me, "You can do this. You can do this." Uh, what I mean? What idea do you have? Let me go. I mean, let me show you this. You can do this this time, and then next time when you come and how uh, you wanna do this, you can go more shorter. You know. And he was explaining to me, so you kind of have to know your thing. Uh, sometimes uh, you get clients to come to, uh, to your place and they want to do their hair, but they don't even know what they want to do, just like me. <laughs> so you know how to know your thing. But um, this place you can just do anything and you can survive. You don't have to rely on one thing. You can actually have like 10 things and survive. You don't have to go <laughs> Like I said, you don't have to go you, you just have to be smart to survive. <laughs> okay? Um, anyway, so this is where my hair is as of right now. As you can see, it's already short. And I look funny. <laughs> I look so funny. Yeah, look at how many. Yeah, very short. Already short. Yeah, it's getting to a point where it is short. As you can see, he's kind of uh, finalizing it. Yeah, and yeah, I think it looks good. So that's that was the like that was the minimum I went. Uh, like the minimum size I did, and I didn't want to go beyond. That <laughs> that size. Okay. This size. Uh, I will come back. Let me go home and decide on what I want to do because I was like, I just want to get this hair down, but um, but I don't want to like, all of it because I still don't with my hair, but I want to lose all my hair. You know, uh, of course, people said stuff when I cut my hair, even though I didn't cut like all of it, I didn't go like bold headed. But um, I actually had people say stuff about me uh, cutting my hair, but um, I was like, you know what, end of the day, I have really invested so much money on my hair, 
and, and my hair is not growing so I mean my hair has not been growing so well for the past few years uh, because of uh, of stuff that I know and I'll talk about it <laughs> in a certain video in a different video not this time and of course I'm the only person who knows myself and I actually don't want to say stuff that's gonna make people feel bad about what they said <laughs> so always I let people talk about what they you know I listen to people's opinions and I'm like you know what you're right and you know what whatever I did on my hair I am right I respect your opinion and I just want you to respect my opinion <laughs> and I don't know what you guys think about uh, people going short hair uh, let, me, uh, let me know about um, having a short hair and what's your opinion about having short hair. This is the dude who was <laughs> making noise on the outside. What did he get back to say? <laughs> I hope he's not kicking me out. Yeah, so yeah. Let me know what you, what you think about having short hair. Uh, what's your opinion? Um, I know people say a lot of things about different stuff. Drop your comments below. For me, actually, I have decided to look how how I feel. You know, if I wake up today and I feel like I want to go short hair, I will. If I wake up tomorrow and I feel like I want to go blonde or I want to go blue. I will go blue. Yep, you know, but you know what? Blondes are more happier. So guys, <laughs> drop your comments below and let me know what you think. Actually I feel like I look more younger right now that I'm shaved and my life is so easier and I'm actually saving like a hundred a hundred to $300 every month right now because I was spending so much money on my hair <laughs> and so much time making my hair so I feel like I'm so much free it's so expensive to maintain hair in this place and I don't even know why it took me so much time to realize that I could have saved so much money and so much time but um, I still miss my hair. My hair was so much beautiful. It was so beautiful. I had my hair for 15 years, but I still had to let go <laughs> because I needed to relax. I needed me <laughs> first before my hair. I still miss it, but I love me. So guys, let me know what you think about um, shaving hair, keeping hair, and let me know what you think about people, you know, you having hair and about opinions about people who think that if you shave your hair you don't look beautiful or men don't like women who shave their hair. I mean what's your I mean what's your opinion? My opinion is that you look beautiful either way. If you shave your hair or you don't shave your hair, you still look beautiful. Wear your confidence and you know Wear your confidence and go out there. Do not look beautiful for someone. Just be who you are. You are beautiful just the way you are. That's that's me. That's why whenever I wake up and my hair is not done, I just comb my hair or wash it and I walk out because I know I'm beautiful just the way I am. I don't have to wear makeup. <laughs> I don't have to. If I'm tired and I don't have to wear makeup, I don't have to. So guys, this is girls talk or story, you know, story talking. So let me know what you think. It's a long story, but let me know what you think. Make sure that you like, share this video, drop your comments, and of course, let me know how you like my shirt here. Okay, thank you, and bye.